is Mark Anglitz, and I'm Director of Postgraduate Studies at LMS, and um, I oversee the Summer Studentship Programme. So the aim of this scheme is to provide um, internships for around half a dozen um, undergraduates to really get direct lab experience of cutting-edge science, um, and we also offer one internship in science communication. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm a second year undergraduate student from Imperial, um, studying biochemistry. And this summer I've been in the cellular stress group, looking at the downstream metabolic effects of AMP kinase. I've really enjoyed learning a range of different techniques and um, putting the understanding from university uh, into practice and really uh, fully understanding how things work. So I'm Adam. I'm a student at University of Cambridge. Um, and I'm working here in the Behavioural Dynamics group at the LMS. Uh, we're looking at using microscopes to record the behaviour of nematode worms, um, and we're using that to try and understand uh, how drugs interact with the nervous system, uh, how, how they behave, uh, and how, whether we can use that to screen for, for new drugs in the future. Hi, I'm Scout Davis, and I'm the Science Communications Officer at the MRC London Institute of Medical Sciences. This summer we've had Ellie joining us as a science communications intern working on a range of projects um, doing internal and external communications and public engagement for the Institute. Um, so I've been working with Scout um, in the Grant Engagement and Communications Office um, doing a science communications project which is a little bit different to the other types of internships because it's not lab based. Being in the comms team you get to meet people who are doing really interesting different research in science and talk to them directly about their research and write about it, which is really cool. So working in the lab, I've learned loads of practical skills um, that are going to help me uh, next year when I finish my degree and also maybe if I go into a clinical research institute in the future. They're really helpful with teaching me how to use everything, which has been really nice, probably my favourite part of the, of the studentship. I'm Harry Leach. I'm group head of the Germline Interimportancy Group at the MRC London Institute of Medical Sciences. And I've had Shaw as a summer student in my lab working on important genes that regulate mouse embryonic stem cells. If I have to be honest, nothing really comes close with actually doing you know, a whole month and, month and a bit of doing lab every single day. They've given me the freedom to sort of explore my own interests. Uh, which is something you don't really have the chance to do at university. Uh, so that was quite refreshing really and I think it, um, it gave me more of an idea as to what it's like in research rather than in the teaching lab. They get to see whether science is the right thing for them and you know sometimes we even produce some interesting results but I think the main thing is just that sort of a short time to get an apprenticeship in the lab and get a real feeling for what proper research is like. I have a mix of Sort of computational computer work and lab work, uh, which is great because when you get sort of a, when you've been working at the computer for a long time, it's nice to come into the lab and work with the microscopes. It's quite exciting to to do the experiment and then also go and sit down and analyse the data and find out uh, what links you can find and what what trends you can see and what behaviour you can see. So these are the embryo livers that I've cut and put on slides. I'm just going to stain them with an antibody that labels a protein and then we put a secondary antibody that fluoresces and then when we go up to the microscope you'll be able to see which cells have particular markers on them. So uh, a typical day of the internship it really varies like throughout the week and depending on what's going on so you might be writing an article in the morning that you want to get out on the website by the evening you might have meetings with um, different departments or different institutions so the aims of them and their like communications team you might be trying to organise an event that you've got coming up. Well, what, what I really found that helped me choose a proper group was go by, that's cliche, but go by interest. I think I'd say the best way to know whether you'd like it is to go and do it. And so if you're not sure whether you want to go into research or not, try and go and do an internship. Uh, and it's a great way of finding out whether that's something you'd really like to do. The whole eight week experience is um, really been enjoyable and really interesting and helped me see what life's like at a research institute um, and yeah really helped me to decide that that's something I want to carry on with in the future after university. I think 
I, you know, I've had a, a fantastic time and I think really the fact that I've had the opportunity to explore my own interests and, and work with people who really, really love what they do in research uh, has made a really, really big difference actually. Um, and I'm much, much more likely I think now to go into research than I was before I started, which is great. <laughs>